guess what chaps? Yesterday, as was pointed out by somebody commenting on uh, yesterday's vlog, I made a wee mistake. I did rethink really it when I got home, but yeah, it was confirmed to me that uh, these aren't actually router bits, but indeed, they are forcener bits. So I've got a full set of forcener bits for cutting, as it was put to me, neat round holes in wood. That's right. So there's not actually a size missing. We go all the way from quarter inch right up to two and one eighth in this particular set. And uh, the other set also has some other sizes. Let's have a look. So from quarter inch up to two and three quarters. And this has 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. So this is a metric set. I'm very pleased to have got these actually. And they were a cinch. They were like 15 quid, 25 quid for the sets. So this morning, I was actually gonna sit down and uh, put together a to-do list as I relace my boots. That's what caustic does to your laces and acid on a daily basis in the brewery. So we've got a set of boot laces to relace the boots, which I will do if I need them today. I don't think I do. And then also we picked up some new taps because there was actually no fixing of the other ones. These are better because they have actual pokey out bits that I can access should I need to ever solder them again. I don't think I will. Um, and then also, some point this week we're gonna get this beer out of these tanks. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to uh, acidify some casks and wait a day or two for this to crash chill what we are already five degrees she's sitting pretty and then i want to brew at the end of the week i don't know if the beer is going to be ready for when the brew tubers get here because we are now hitting the 20th of november something like that so probably not but we will have vacant and bitter um in cask when they come i've got loads of other beer anyway uh but if i want to brew you all remember last brew day when the whole place filled up with steam and it's decisively cold and now so that means that we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put a chimney in when you have one problem that's outside it's absolutely freaking miserable it's freezing cold it's raining and uh, the roof's gonna be slippery not good for making chimney hole and I also don't have any access equipment uh, on site at the moment. I can get some, but yeah, I could do with tackling it today. We shall see how it pans out as normal. I come to work with a brief, brisk idea of what we're gonna do for the day, and inevitably it always changes. But I do know I have to fix the taps in the ladies' toilets. So that's probably job numero uno. Okay, so we're here. Oh, look at that chair. We're downstairs. We'll get these taps out with their new connectors. I'll probably use the old ones, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. And Take these into the new toilets and we'll get these connected.
and dusted. Quick and easy job. And no leaks. Hot and cold on each faucet. I'm kind of bloody chuffed with that, folks. So let's get back into the brewery. I've actually found some doors that a chap, a friend of ours called Jeff brought and they will fit in place of these. So those signs that you saw me make the other day, well I might just donate them to somebody on eBay. If I can strip these doors I'll be able to actually put that sign in ink on the other doors. I'll take you next door and show you them. They look pretty snazaroo. Let's grab all this gear. So here are the doors. As you can see, they look fantastic. We've got four of them, and we need three for the toilets. And uh, they just basically need cleaning up a little bit. I reckon they'll look a lot better than those crappy things that we've got. And we could put ladies or whatever the, the prints actually on the door, right? I think it'll look smart. Now, talking earlier on about ventilation for the boil kettle, if you look down here, we have, if you look down there, we've got water. Thanks to a leak on one of these bits here. Not sure which one. And then if we also come down here, you'll see that almost above the boil kettle, look at the mess. Look at that. You see the drip, because that is quite, quite a drastic leak there. So, I'm thinking, if that panel's already shot, well, the boil kettle's only there. Maybe we just send, maybe we just send the, uh, the chimney straight out of these plastic uh, panels. I think that would be a solution. I'll have to see if I can find some plastic panels with a similar peak to peak distance and we'll change that out and at the same time install a uh, install a chimney. I'll just have a quick look on on the internet see if I can find any plastic panels to fix those roof sheets and uh, sort of do what we've got in mind and then I'm going to bring these doors down to the workshop and I'm actually going to chop them down to size and start freaking stripping them because I'm going to hang them doors, uh, maybe not today, but we'll start them and we'll get them into the, uh, into the pub because I think they're going to look awesome. Uh, before another change of plan, I'm mad like that, no, I can't help myself. So I found the roof sheets online, that's a good thing, they're called Big Six and they're like glass fibre reinforced or you can have ABS ones or cement reinforced fibre sheets perfect same uh, what would you call it pitch and not pitch uh, it almost looks like a sine wave same distance between peaks it's kind of pitch isn't it uh, so they should fit perfectly on there they're about 30 quid each few days delivery I don't have any access scaffolding it's peeing it down with rain so that ain't gonna get done this week so what I'm gonna do now is get rid of some of that stainless steel uh, tables and whatnot that we picked up yesterday. I'm going to take them across to the pub, put them in the kitchen, so then we can get the deep fat fryer out of here. I don't need to be in here. We can get the griddle upstairs. People who come into work then next door can start cleaning it when they've got coal to do. Hey, and then of course we will start to put the kitchen together bit by bit and get closer and closer to it being a functioning kitchen. And it will also give me some space down here. And then when I've moved them upstairs, which I'm just about to do, I'm going to drag those doors in here and I will start on cleaning them up, stripping them. I'm going to have to strip them because, well, I'll show you later on. They've got some type of chemical on them, which has already started to remove the paint. I've got it on my fingers. Probably just paint on paint stripper. Uh, and then we'll see where we go from there. But yes, I'm gonna leave the camera in here because it's raining and I'm just gonna shove some of these stainless steel tables up the top. So I've got all of the stainless steel equipment up in the kitchen. And I've dropped this door onto the workbench and now looking at it, 
um, the paint ain't going to come off that readily all over. In some places it really does. Comes off dead easy there. It should come off dead easy in places, but in the most awkward places, as you might anticipate, like around the, uh, the beading and whatnot. Yeah. Don't want to come off. So I don't want to spend half my life stripping these doors. So what I might suggest to Stuart is we get a dark brown paint uh, to do the rest of them and what I'll do is just basically hit the whole thing with a sander, knock the paint off the raised parts of the door and then in the panels well, we'll just leave them as we found them. I'll do one side of this door, we'll have a look what it looks like and uh, well, I'll take a view from there effectively. I can see this clogging up the sander though, could be a problem. I think it looks really nice. I don't know what's going on with this thing though. It seems to be kicking all of the dust everywhere but in the bag. So maybe a quick troubleshoot on this. Save me a lot of dust in the air. But of course I've got the old respirator on just in case. So I don't know. I think I might just run around all the, all the raised parts. It's coming off really quite readily this paint. And the timber underneath looks beautiful. So uh, I'm, I'm impressed so far. I'm just going to stop for a quick lunch break and then uh, continue. Hello. <clears throat> well, it certainly is not the quickest job in the world. So this is the second door. Uh, the first one I've moved outside. Uh, we got most of the paint off of it with the sander and the heat gun. And then I uh, gave it a little bit of a hand finish at the end. We all know that we enjoy a hand finish right at the end. Happy ending with a hand finish, no doubt. So what I've decided to do uh, with the doors is actually, you know the, uh, the logos, the ladies and gents signs that I made? I'm really determined to, uh, decided to scrap them. And what I'm gonna actually do is put the uh, print directly on the door. And that's something that I'll do tomorrow. 
because this is taking a wee little bit more time than I anticipated getting all these done. But this is the third side, so I've got three more sides to do, six doors. Three doors, six sides. Yeah, it's quarter to six as well. I don't know if you can see Jessica from where you are. So I'm gonna. I'm just waiting for Stuart to put some kegs or casks on the stillage. I can't get anything right. And then he's gonna drop me off at home, and we'll wrap the vlog up. So uh, yeah, tomorrow's job. Um, whilst I should also be doing a little bit of casking if I get round to it, I will be nipping in and out of here to uh, put the prints on these doors, and then I'm just gonna varnish them. I think. I think they look nice enough as they are, don't they? Bit of varnish on there. And then maybe brewing at the end of the week. I really do need to brew, so, uh, well, I better get my finger out and do it. I'm not gonna be getting a chimney in this week. I just can't see it happening. I, don't, I really can't. So we might just have to take a view on that one and uh, figure it out next week. All right, anyway, bit more of this, waiting for stew. And I'm wrapping up. Elf on the shelf, Pedo in Speedo. That's it, last bit of the door's done. So I am now off home. So uh, I'll leave a dirt chain and see you tomorrow. Gonna do them lights still. Yeah.